Can a sinus infection lead to an asthma attack? Sure. Um, but wait, wait. We're talking upstairs uh -huh. leading to downstairs. What's the relationship between a sinus infection and, say, the, someone who gets an uncontrolled asthma attack? Well, the, the upper and lower airways uh, are, are very closely intertwined. Uh, and, and oftentimes when you have uh, an insult uh, in, in one portion of the airway, then that can lead to a, a, uh, an inflammatory response that actually affects a good portion of the other. So if you get thickened sinus wall, some people talk about leukotrion mm -hmm. release, mm -hmm. and that triggers off histamine release, yeah. and that is the reason why you get some of out of control? Yeah, that's, that's, that's one, that's certainly that's one theory. I mean, again, this is something that uh, the, the research on these kinds of issues are still Ongoing. But so if that was true, that a drug like Singulair mm -hmm. should help dramatically, and we're still finding it doesn't quite do what the manufacturer claims it does. Okay. It does in some, but I can say it doesn't, right. and some it doesn't. Right. So we don't really understand the whole mechanism fully yet. No, it's not. It's it, that's something that uh, that still needs a lot of work as far as really the the complete understanding of that. The uh, uh, you know suffice to say that 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 uh, sinus disease is often coexistent with somebody who has asthma and, and allergic disease.